Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul, and we're going to be doing the Anomaly Visit today. The Anomaly Visit. The Anomaly... What's it called? Anomaly Mission. Yes, of course. So we're going to get that started today. Sorry about that. And uh, let's see what we have in store for us. I have no idea what it's going to be. But I did want to at least get this taken care of for you folks, so we know what we're going to be doing. All right. Hope you all are doing well. Planetary interference. I'm apparently too close to a planet somewhere. Let's go ahead and take this out there a little bit. There we go. A thunk. And let's fly into the eyeball. There we go. Again, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you've had a great week. It is Friday, May 19th. Hearing some rumors lately that there might be an update coming out, and uh, I don't know about you, uh, my No Man's Sky updated for me today, so I'm not sure. There might be something coming over the weekend. Watch Twitch. Watch Sean Murray on Twitch. He should be sending out a emoji at some point to tell us that there's something coming and, you, and then you watch for the sales to start in uh, somebody put out a video recently that said uh, at some time today actually it said hey everything's going on sale and then I checked all the prices and everything and everything was not on sale so I, I don't know what that's about anyway it looks like we got the herbivorous bloodshed so we're eliminating hazardous flora again so we got 1800 quicksilver and 10 ion batteries so let's go ahead and grab that and initialize our mission and of course start the mission. All right. Let's head on out and see what planet it lands us on and how much uh, damage it can do for us. On our way. And while we're doing this, I'm just going to add a little plug to the video for Beeblebum. If you haven't checked, Beeblebum has been doing a his own invented fugitive front, Ultra Permadeath. Maximum damage and rules and everything like this, it's all listed. I have been trying to do this as well, and I'm going to be doing a new one as well uh, to try to go along with it. So Check out his channel, check out his new run. Alright, so it's saying that there's something nearby, but I'm not waiting. There it is, okay. I knew it was going to pop in sooner or later. Uh, let's see, over at that planet, at the Sawtooth Island Farms and Fishery. Excellent. I'm not going there. But I think that's absolutely the most hilarious thing I've seen in a while. I like when people name things, like their bases and stuff, after some sort of a um, actual thing in real life, which is pretty cool. Like, a, you know, a, I don't know, a canning, a canning factory or something like that. Or a refinery. That would be pretty awesome. But this is pretty cool. Looks like we got chromatic fog planet, indium dioxide silver, and it's high sentinel activity. Fortunately, they're not aggressive sentinels, but still we're gonna have a little trouble with sentinels on this one. Because as soon as we start taking out flora, it's going to start getting annoyed with us. So the first thing we have to do is it's gonna send us over here. Even though the target planet is reached, we have to go to a location. Now, the location on these is always going to be a grave for a traveler. So watch your radar at the top and look for the diamond-shaped icon. It's always going to be nearby. And if you have a sentinel ship, you can just stop in midair. Too cool. All right, we're going to go inbound here, and we're going to check a little closer. All right, begin the search. Let's just do a 180. The 360. 360 here. And check to see if there's something on our radar. I'm not seeing anything. So it's telling us that it's nearby, and I think it lies. It will do that on occasion. Let's go a little further. Oh, Eric, it just passed underneath us. You just saw it. I'm going to show you again. And there it is. You see the icon at the top of the screen? You got the diamond shaped with the icon. And if you look closely at the ground, there it is. You see that thing down below? Oh, they got flying beetles here, too. And if you don't have one of those as a pet, get one. Very handy. They fly very, very fast. You can cover terrain really, really good. Excellent pets. 
Okay. So we're gonna head to that gravestone. Hey, buddy. How you doing? All right. Let's see what we got. The atmosphere here, but by the strangling vines. Very little ammunition. Well, I guess that's why he didn't make it. The fallen traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. Okay. So that big, that gets the mission going here. So this is where we begin here. So basically, you want it, You can go here if you want, and it will start directing you towards hazardous plants. Anything that has uh, that there is your hazardous plants. You look for them all over the place. And as you know, they populate as you're running around. So sometimes you may not see them at first until you're just about right on top of them. So just know that, you know, just any of these things will get it. And we have to get 13 of them. It mentions at the bottom, you see, split up to search the planet's surface in any underground caves. That is a really good clue. And that's usually what I do. I am not seeing any caves around me right now. So let's just go ahead and take it out. Um, I think a mining beam ought to just do fine. The hijack laser from the sentinel tools will do quick damage to these guys. Now, if you got any sentinels around, they are going to attack you. There's another one right there. I'll take the ferrite dust, though, too. Thank you for 500, Bob. Okay. And there was another one right over here. There it is, right up there. And I found it. I found it twice. Oh, there's two of them. That's why. <laughs> All right. So that's four already, and I barely started. Looks like we got one down in the little ravine here. That's five. And there's another one over there, and one right up above us. That's hilarious. That was not a rock. That's a creature. Oh, mm, it took him out, too. That is just creepy. I've never been able to take one out for before. There are so many on the surface, it's ridiculous. Um, apparently, they're inside there. Nope, they're right here. One. And I don't know if we can get the other one. No, nope, doesn't look like we can. No, nope, can't get that one. That's just buried inside that item there. There's another one right in front of us is there too, but it looks like it's inside this thing, which I cannot take out. So, too bad. So just look around for more. And that's pretty much, you, you got pretty much the idea of what's going on here. So again, looks like we got an update coming very, very soon. Um, usually this time of year, as you know, the last update didn't have anything with it, but it was a major update. Obviously, a Sentinel update that we've all been really enjoying a lot. I have anyway. Can't speak for everybody else, but I have been really enjoying this update a lot. And along with the uh, the update, pardon me, the uh, fugitive run that Beeble Bum invented, it's been a lot of fun. Oop, one right behind us. Okay, good. So that update will be coming soon, and it usually is accompanied by an expedition this time of year. So let's watch for that. There's not really any speculation on it because it's happened for the last like two years so pretty sure they're going to stick to that pattern unless they've decided that there needs to be another pattern to it or something but yep 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 I gotcha there we go what are we up to I don't know 13 10 10 we get three more yeah, too weak. No, that's not true. Don't pay attention to that when it says it's too weak. Just go a little further out, and guess what'll happen? See, there's one right up there. They just populate as you get going. That's 12. I'm going to be checked out by another sentinel. They want to check that out because I just destroyed something with my jetpack, whatever. Oh, one right there. So you see, this seems to be really, really easy. So fortunately, it doesn't appear that we really need to worry too much. And I've already got it. Done. All done. So let's head back to our ship. So again, watch for that update. Uh, I, Since it's getting so close and there has been updates to the, uh, like, uh, I guess, patches to No Man's Sky. They're getting ready for it. So I would expect possibly this Sunday or next they're probably going to come out. You'll see Sean uh, tweet something out there. And uh, that'll be the clue. That'll be the clue we need to tell us, hey, what's coming? 
I have no idea. I have no idea the speculation. I mean, everybody's talking about, I wish we had this, I wish we had that. Well, good for you. Wishes are not going to be, you know, written in stone as far as I'm concerned. So I'm not going to speculate anything until I start seeing that emoji. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll say something. I don't know. Probably not. I'll probably discuss it in one of my videos. I do want to say that I will be going live on Memorial Day here in the U.S. That is not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. So I'm probably sometime around, I don't know, 7.30, between 7.30 and 8 Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be doing a live shot. And it'll be involving the Fugitive Run, so... Which I will have as many videos as I can produce between today and tomorrow to put out there for that. And possibly over that following weekend, we will see. All right, so here we are. We're going to turn in our mission. There we go. Completed. Congratulations. 1,800 Quicksilver, and you get your 10 ion batteries. And whew, I was running low, thank God. Yeah, 22,000 Quicksilver I've got now. I should probably buy a lot of stuff, but I haven't had a chance. But let's see where we are with our... Uh, let's see, I have the spawning cow. Our geometric cape has not been unlocked yet. But usually it starts getting unlocked, and it has something to do a lot of times with something coming up. So geometric shit cape, hmm. We talked about fractal updates and everything like that. Let's see what we got coming. It's going to have something to do with it. We all know this. So, But I've already got the spawning cowl, so at least that's something. I haven't even tried it yet. Hey, why not? This video only took 12 minutes. Let's go ahead and just take a look at it. I'm sure you have maybe seen it or already purchased it yourself. But hey, give me, give me a chance here, folks. Yeah, come on. And I'm assuming that's going to involve the head... I got a Shroud of Freedom. Oh, it's not there. Let's see. How about here? Nope, that's not it, buddy. Nope, 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 nope. Torso? Nope. Backpack? Banner? Very interesting. Hmm. That's nice. And that's the backpack I'm using. There's a tentacle cape, which I'm not using. Well, I guess I have to do a little homework and find out how in the world I get this thing. I'm assuming... It's in here someplace, but I haven't seen it, unless they've replaced something else? Fascinating. Well, I'll have to look into that. Cowl. Cowl. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, I thought it might be here. Geometric cape is coming in here, and this is a cowl of some sort. Maybe it only works on Gek races. That could be the reason why I can't see it. So I'm going to hold off doing that because, you know, I like the look of this guy here, and I really don't want to change it. So we'll take a look at that another time. So anyway, if you ever want to see the progress of that, you can always go, as I've always told you, into this menu here, and you can look at the community research under your log, and it will tell you where the progress is. So every time you complete those missions, it adds into the progress of the community research. And that's not just that mission itself, like the, the ones over the weekend that we do. It has to do with any of these Nexus missions. And you can do up to, as you can see the icons over here, I can do three more missions at this point, including the uh, Sentinel Menace, Hungering, Archiving an eco Ecosystem, and the Bite of Friendship. And these can change as time goes by, too. So if I were to come back here in an hour or so, these might change to something else. Same thing with this one. But I don't know if this one counts towards these three icons. I'd have to check that one day. But for now, that's how many you get. And you're allowed to get one of those a day. After you hit a maximum of three of those icons, it will never increase beyond that. So you maintain three. And if you do all three, the next day you only have one left. You can only do one of the missions. So just keep that in mind. A little confusing, but if you think about it, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You're smart people. I know you are. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, wrap this up here, folks. We are going to go ahead and call it a day. Really appreciate you folks watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. And I always appreciate your comments. By all means, if you have any questions or comments about anything I've said here, drop a line. I do take criticism well. You all know that, so go ahead and drop that in, too. If there's any problems with the video, the audio, etc., etc., etc. Really appreciate all that you uh, folks uh, have given me over the uh, last six months or so. So, really doing well here. 
Thank you very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.